I don't wear suits and ties. I don't own a church. I am not a pastor or an elder. No title. I guess you can call me Uncle Kev. I guess uncle is my title. <laughs> I am not a traditional teacher. For myself, I don't really like some traditions in a church. Like, I like what works. Like, skip the traditions and give to me what actually works. Yes, your church may do this, your church may do that, but does it actually work? Does it bring me closer to Jesus? Or is it just a tradition that you do because you have been doing it for a long time? Like, miss me with that traditional stuff. Like, leave me alone with that. Show me what works. What is going to give me a better relationship with Jesus Christ? Show me that. Give me that. And this is what I try to teach. I don't, I don't really, I don't think so. I don't think I teach traditional stuff. I believe I teach what works. Like, I am not, I guess, a traditional person. So some things I may say, you may disagree or whatever, but I believe much of it, or all of it, I guess, works for me. Skip that traditional stuff if it doesn't work show me what works don't waste my time if i go to church don't waste my time show me what works if you can't let me stay home or go somewhere else okay let me get to my message and i believe i spoke briefly about it maybe in a video or videos maybe i spoke about it before i'm not sure perhaps in a video maybe more i guess anyways i think i was at work and I believe a thought came to my mind. I think so. Maybe I was off of work. I don't know, but something came to my mind like, or let me say it like this, why? Why? Like, I think some people live to work. Do you understand what I am trying to say? Like, you work, I guess you buy clothes, underwear, uh, cars, homes, then you work. Like, you work, And somehow, I guess, you find satisfaction in working because you like buying temporary stuff. Like, perhaps life to you is obtaining many temporary things. Like, 
maybe you get a very high enjoyment out of working and buying, can I say it like this, mess. There is nothing wrong with wanting this and wanting that. But what I am speaking about, having a mentality to not really acknowledge God, not really live for the eternal, but just working to work and to buy mess, like temporary stuff. Like, do you really get an enjoyment out of that? Like you, you work and you want to fix up your house. Like, are you living for mess? Like, do you really, myself, yes, you know, I guess you have to pay your rent or your mortgage or, you know, I guess you have to buy underwear and socks and stuff like that. Okay, but is that all you are living for? What a waste of existence. What a waste of life. Do you believe that is all life is about? You work and you buy stuff and then you die. Like, what is the point of you being alive? Myself, I know I have to work. But if my life was only about working and buying mess, like, what is the point of me being alive? Because, like, okay, I buy some of the clothes I buy. I guess some of them last for some time, but, like, they wear out, right? Like, I have some socks, and I guess over time, washing them and stuff like that, I think I saw some holes in some of my socks. Life have to be more than just working and buying mess. Like, oh man, do you understand what I am trying to say to you? Or maybe I am seeing this in more of a spiritual way. Aren't you wasting your life if you are just going around working, buying trucks and rims and sound systems and trying to show off to people? Like, isn't that a waste? If it was possible, I would not even work at all. Like, how can I say this? I think as I grow closer to Jesus Christ, I think my perspective about life changes. I think my, I guess I get more wisdom. It's like I care less and less about this world. Yes, I like nice things, but nice things are not really so huge to me, I guess I can say, as it was back in the past. I guess when I was not as close to Jesus Christ, I guess I desired like, you know, uh, so many things, I guess. But now, as I grow closer to Jesus, it's like, I believe I am caring more about the spiritual more than earthly things. If you understand what I am trying to say to you. Natural stuff. What a waste. Like, you are wasting your life.
like no matter how much money you make, no matter what you buy, there have to be an end. Like there have to be an end to it. Let's say you get all the cars, all the mansions, all the females, all the males, whatever. Like, there have to be an end. Let's say you die and you stand before God and he tell you, what have you done in this life? Like, what have you done for me in this life? Like, what can you say, Jesus? I got a master's degree, you know, I was a lawyer, I bought many cars, I got many degrees, I went to school so for so long, I made so much money, but that doesn't answer his question. Like, what did you do for him? Yes, you got the degrees. You have the money. You got the mansions. You have the cars. You have the clothes. But what did you do for him? It's like you are taking an English, English test. And you begin writing mathematical stuff on an English test. Like, why would you do that? On this earth, <laughs> please understand what I am saying. On this earth, it is about what you are doing for Jesus. But when when he asks you, what have you done for him? You are speaking about what you have done for yourself. Like you are doing math problems on an English test, which doesn't fit. What a waste of existence. There have to be more to life than just working and buying stuff. Right? Am I saying buying stuff is bad? No. But if that is your focus and how you are, I guess I can say, leading life, what is the point? What is the point? Live for Jesus Christ now. Give your life and heart to Jesus while you are still alive. Because once you die, isn't that game over? Like, can you ask Jesus Christ for a do-over when you die? Who knows? Probably not. I guess in some video games, when you die, I guess you can start the level over or start at the saved point. But can you do that in actual life? Perhaps not. Let me stop here. God bless you.